coaches overall doing a great job. You would know that yourself, one of the best coaches around in our province for sure. Well, I'd certainly learn from the best, put it that way. You're too modest. St. John's on the power play out front. Jack Carter had to be careful with that one. He steers it aside. Here's a chance from the point. St. John's, Isabella Vich. She couldn't get a shot away on that one. Northeast were all over her. Turned the puck over. Vich, though, great work ethic by that young lady. She gets the puck back. Here's Halbert now. Halbert. Out cross, there's a shot, one time shot by Halbert, just misses on a great pass from Vich. Puck kept in at the blue line. Goss has got a chance to keep it in, but it does go out, and Northeast will get a chance to clear. Ralph is in the neutral zone looking for that pass, comes all the way down the ice though, and Jack Marinell is gonna wind up for the Caps. Here comes Big Marinell, oh. brilliant steal in the neutral zone by the Eagles, and a chance shorthanded. On the backhand, shot right on, and that one steered aside by Bayer. Marinell had a good head of steam going. He didn't see it in the Eagles. Pop out from behind the other person, and a good steal. 42 seconds left to go in the power play. St. John's on the attack once more. Here's Marinell. Marinell on his forehand down the left side. There's a off shot. The that one just grazes off the post by Marinell. Toop. Keeps it in at the blue line. Eagles desperately trying to clear, and they do so. A chance for the line change here now. Here's Tucker. Tucker, wrist shot. That one goes through. Big rebound there. And Ben Spurl was almost Johnny on his spot for his second of the game. Off the rebound. Only five seconds left to go in the power play. And 45 <laughs> seconds left to go in this first period. All knotted up at one. Marinell's gonna wind up for one more rush here. Here's Marinell up over the blue line. He's got some help coming. Nice move by Marinell to pull it to lay. Pass to the crease. And Carter with a great poke check there. Takes the puck off the stick of Logan Andrews. Andrews almost found an open net there. Here come the Eagles in the neutral zone. Northeast on oh, the nice. attack. Great poke check there oh, by, the by Fisher. Fisher. Up for Andrews. Here's Andrews in all along. Shoots big save by Carter. What an atmosphere here at the Glacier Arena, Brad. Can you believe this is novice hockey? Oh, absolutely. It's great to see. The kids are working extremely hard. And biggest surprise for me has been just exactly how well that they're playing in terms of where they're supposed to be positioned and just in terms of moving the puck and getting the puck out. It's extremely, extremely wonderful to see. Kids keeping their composure here. To be honest, I think the key, kids keep their composure a little better than the parents. I'm looking at some of the parents here. They're living and dying with every shot. Oh, absolutely. I'm expecting the wave to start at any second. Great all-around atmosphere here. Coach Troy Ralph seen down on the bench now trying to fire up his troops. We're going to take a little break for a second. We'll be back with continuing coverage of the 2016 Avalon Celtics Novice Invitational Championship on Bella Line TV1. Second period underway now. Caps off to the attack. Here's Barrington. Barrington goes down behind the net. Owen Barrington all the way around. Can't come away with it. Away come the Eagles. Groves. Groves loses that one. There's a shot by Nunes. Rebound. Second chance at 10. Carter holds that shoot. Scores! Carter thought he had it. He thought he had it, but... Aubrey Nunes looked down and said, look what I got, Mama, an open net. Nunes puts the caps up two to one. And just an unfortunate break for Northeast there as goaltender thought it had it covered. Puck squirted in behind, open net, no mistake. Two to one, 30 seconds into the second period. So a good fast start again for the caps. That's two periods in a row, but we've seen Northeast be resilient the whole tournament long. They'll look to do it again. Here's Barrington right from the face off. Shot in on a big save there off the glove of oh. Carter. Another save by Carter. A third save by Carter. 
Sign this kid up for the herder, Brad Yepman. Who's Mark Yepman anyway? <laughs> Here comes Fisher around the net. Fisher, outlet pass, looking for his caps teammate at the blue line. Stepped up, kept in there by Cameron Penton of the Eagles. Penton puts it down behind the net. The Caps turn to move it out. Cohen Ryan. Ryan for the Eagles. Trying to put down a puck in front of the net. Can't do so. Here's Penton at the blue line. Penton takes one swipe on it. We got a two on one here for the Caps. St. John's on the rush. Shot right into the bread basket. Safe. Of the goaltender, Jack Carter, who's been nothing short of phenomenal here for Northeast in this one. And Brad, in this, in about three minutes' time, we'll see the goaltender switch for both teams. But both goaltenders doing a great job. Oh, absolutely, especially after that early goal by St. John's. Carter's after making three or four great saves to keep the deficit at one. Face-off is going to be to the right of young Mr. Carter. And face-off is won by the Eagles. Puck along the wall. Barron tries to keep it in for St. John's. Can't quite do so. Ryan's going to have a chance for Northeast. Puck comes in over the blue line. Knocked back out into the neutral zone. And Ryan will give chase once again. Ryan oh. for Tucker. Here's a chance all alone in front of the net. The Eagle shoots. Just misses. Here's another chance. Same player oh. shoots. He scores! Second time's a charm. And the Eagles have knotted it up at two. Just waiting to get the number of that young man there. He was really mad. He missed his first opportunity. But Brady Ralph stuck with it, and he potted the second goal of the game. We're tied at two. Little lesson there, Brad. You can't quit on the play. No, absolutely not. Stuck with it. Slipped it in five holes. Managed to squeak through. 8.06 left to go in the second period. So they'll drop the puck at center race again. What an atmosphere here at the Glacier today. St. John's on the attack once again. And one thing I can say, Brad, is these two teams, they work very, very hard. These kids hit the ice. There's nobody lazy. Everybody's going. Great work ethic here by the Eagles and the Caps. And that's great to see. And young novice, you know, of course, everyone wants to emphasize having fun. And that's the main thing. These kids are having a great time, and they're working extremely hard to go with it. Here's Hickey for the Eagles. He's battling along the wall. Hickey, chance to clear. Barron does a good job to keep it in for St. John's. Shot there by Russell. That one just went wide, and Andrews gives chase for the Caps. Puck's going to get cleared just outside the blue line, and the Caps defenseman, Ryan Daw, promptly puts it back into Northeast Territory. Here come the Eagles. St. John's doing a great job in the forecheck as Terrio getting in. Yes, there is a forecheck in novice hockey. It's called everybody go get the puck. Yes, absolutely. Here's Witty. Up for Spurl. Spurl out into the neutral zone again. And Dahl will just knock it back in one more time. Northeast clear the puck. This one's going to go all the way down the ice. Doesn't look like it's got enough for icing. Be an opportunity for both teams. And Brad, this second period with the benches at each end, you know yourself in senior, it's tough to make line changes. It's really tough for the young novice players. Well, absolutely. I mean, this is an extremely big ice surface for the young novice age, but you know, they're doing a great job so far. And as you said earlier, they're working extremely hard. So that helps as well. So we see the Eagles going to go to the penalty box once again. This one's going to be Alexander Maynard. He's going to go for tripping. St. John's player was upended there. Referee Justin Heffernan right there to make the call. 6.34 left to go here in this second period of play. All knotted up at two, the championship game of the 2016 Avalon Celtics Novice Invitational Tournament. Proud to be brought to you by the official broadcaster. Bell Alliance, there's more to love than fiber op, and Carter once again comes out and flashes the leather for the save, keeping the game knotted at two. Northeast Eagles try to put a late change in. Referee's going to send them back. Referee's arm was up for a change. Coach is shouting at the referee, which he really shouldn't be doing here. 
because he is wrong. The referee's hand was up. The only the home team can change in a case like that. From the draw, Eagles, chance to clear. St. John's, I believe that's Barrington. Back to the point for Marinell. Marinell puts the puck in. That's kept up. Here's a shot blocked by the Eagles defense. With nice play there. And away comes Northeast. Here's Grant. Grant. He's got Groves with him. Grant muscles the puck down low. Maria Groves gets in. She can't come away with it. And away comes Daniel Carley for the Caps. Carley up for Alexander Goss. Goss under some intense pressure there. Maria Groves is going to take it for Northeast. Groves throws one out. That's going to go all the way outside the line. Barrington gives chase with Toop right on him. Here's Toop. Toop just steps up on Barrington and throws the Caps team offside. 46 seconds left to go in the penalty. 5.20 left to go in the second period. Probably going to see the goaltender change here now. Yeah, the Eagles are making the call. So Jack Carter is going to get a big ovation coming out of that net for the Northeast team. And in for the Eagles now is number 31, Dawson Parsons. And in turn, St. John's make their goaltending change. Maggie Byer comes out to give way for number 31, Drew Pierce. So, two new goaltenders. Real exciting to come into this one, Brad. Oh, absolutely. I'm sure a little adrenaline is going through them here now. Want to make that first save, and there it is. There it is. Nice save there by Parsons. Here's a cross feed pass for Sims. Sims stays on side, looking to pet it back to Ryan. Can't do so. Northeast shorthanded, getting a couple scoring opportunities here. They're certainly aggressive, that's for sure. Watching this Northeast team all week, and there's a shot, he scores! It's Ryan, I believe. Cohen Ryan found the puck in the slot and he put it home. The Eagles take the lead, three to two. I don't know, but I see Randy Power in a big Eagle costume in here running around. What an exciting hockey game here, folks, and this one is far from over, Brad. Both of these teams working their hearts out here today at the Glacier. Here's Devereaux. Devereaux puts the puck in. St. John's have the dying seconds of their power play. And away come the Eagles again. Very aggressive there, and Sam Fisher turned it over, but he got it right back. And away comes the defenseman, Fisher. Fisher comes down the right side. Here's Fisher on his backhand. Fisher has the puck taken away from him with the hard back checking of Micah Tucker. Tucker puts the puck all the way around. Tucker sticks with it in the neutral zone. Finally overskates it. And St. John's put it back in. Here come the Caps now. Caps momentarily take it, but Tucker once again in the neutral zone takes it. Fisher now. Fisher for St. John's puts the puck outside the blue line. And now away come the Caps. Nice little rush here. Here's Brown. Shot right on and into the big trapper of the goaltender Dawson Parsons. Some of these kids got glove hands. Absolutely. And one thing that you notice is a lot of them aren't going down either. They're staying up, just catching the puck and really holding on to it is the biggest thing noticed so far. So, 3.45 left to go in this Second period, 3-2, Northeast St. John. Should be noted, two of these teams played each other in the Don Johnson Hockey League Exhibition Series. They play one game against each other. A lot of restrictions to novice hockey here, and they tied each other in that one game. So not surprised at what we're seeing here in the championship game, these two fine hockey clubs. Here's Toop behind the net for Northeast. Toop. Spins away from his check. Nice move there by the diminutive Northeast defenseman, Toop. Then again, they're all diminutive defensemen out here in Novice Hockey. Here's Toop once again. Toop has a hard time with that one in his skates. The Caps really going after that puck hard. The Caps want to tie it up. Back to the point for Barron. Barron puts it down low. Russell lets that go behind the net. Terrio gives chase. But Spurl's going to put it around for the Eagles. 
Puck goes all the way to the blue line. Here's a shot all the way from the blue line. Backhand shot by Terrio. Oh, nice and a great up. save.